In this video, I'll be covering the Nidor Sicilian A3 variation. So, Nidor Sicilian starts off E4, C5, Knight of 3, D6, D4, CD4, Knight D4, Knight of 6, Knight C3, A6. Now, instead of Rook G1, like we covered last time, A3 is split. Now, E5 attacking the Knight, Knight moves step 5, now D5. This is a very good move because Bishop G5 is played now, pinning the knight, and now Black takes Black takes this opportunity to play D5 because if you took Bishop F5, if you took the knight, you just take and then. Something like this happened, take, take, black takes an extra piece, and if uh, takes, um, you would just take this. So without that out of the way, I'm going to show, after this the main move, bishop to g5. Now, we attack the knight with d4. Bishop to f6. We take the g pawn now and white plays knight to b1. Knight to b1 because knight e2 would stop the development of the bishop. Knight a4. You could just go queen a5, take the knight. So white plays knight to b1. And now. Bishop takes f5 by black. Just taking the, the knight. So uh, white obviously takes back. And now we play a very good move. Queen to d5. Centralizing the queen. You might have heard it's not good to centralize the queen. Well, um, in the, in, at the beginning of the game at least. Um. Bishop to c4 is impossible though. Knight c3 is there, but um, you could just move the queen to a5 or c6. But um, in lead chess, at least, black usually wins in this position. Mm. Next time, I'll start coming the knight or. Um, uh, the, not the knight earth, but the Sicilian four knights variation. Because we have finished the knight earth here. So, now that you know how to play the knight earth, um, you can put it in your repertoire. Um, though, like and subscribe. And bye.